this one we will connect to our computer and this one we will connect to our TV which is far away from the computer. We will take a mouse, a keyboard or a gamepad and we will be able to control our computer with macOS or Windows at a distance. This is a wireless HDMI transmitter that also works as a KVM meaning that it can transmit the image from any Windows or macOS computer up to 200 meters. It also transmits a keyboard and mouse remotely. We just need to plug the transmitter into the PC then take the receiver and connect it to any TV that it's further away, connect a keyboard and mouse near the TV and we will be able to use the computer remotely. But 200 meters, let's check it out. And at this moment we are with a setup with a laptop and the HDMI KVM extender which we are connecting with a laptop but we could use a desktop. So at this moment I only have an HDMI cable connected to the laptop and to the HDMI extender, KVM extender, but we can see that the loop out is disconnected. So if I use a desktop what happens is that I will have the HDMI output going in here and then I will connect a cable to my external desktop and in that case I will have image. The same would happen with this laptop. If I want to close the laptop and have an external display I can do so because I will connect an HDMI cable here to that display and this is a great advantage. I also have a USB type C cable to USB type A connected which is what going to power the uh, HDMI extender wireless KVM and the way that it works is here we will not see any difference because it's just a laptop, it's just a computer with Windows in this particular case. I can work normally but once I want to go to any other location and I don't want to bring my desktop or laptop that's where the magic happen so let's go so in here we are about a 15 meters away and what I do have here is the wireless HD KVM extender connected to this TV and I do have a dongle USB dongle here which is connected to a mouse and a keyboard and the magic is on this side because we will be able to use this computer which is not here is located on my office as if we were there. Now I've been testing this for a few days now and what I do notice is that it, there is a little delay but this delay would not prevent me to do any kinds of productivity tasks. Now the only thing that I do notice that could be in a way is that if you play competitive games, shooting games in particular, then this might be a little bit of delay for that particular task. But if you play any other kind of games, racing and so on, I do not notice any major delay that would cause any issues. So for productivity, if we want to do Word, Excel and that kind of work, this is awesome. I don't notice anything special that would prevent me to do my tasks. Everything works as it should. But I should mention that for those that probably will ask if two users can use the computer simultaneously, just a heads up that this is an exact clone of the other side. So you can see both at the same time and if I press here it will do exactly the same right over there or the inverse because it will do the action there and then it will show on the screen here. So this is intended for one user only. So anything that I do here will do right over there and if there are two users then they will get on the way of each other and that's not what we want. So as we can see right over here just working flawless but this is for that situation where you want to leave the computer right over there and you want to go to another location and you don't want to bring the computer you just want to bring your keyboard and mouse or probably you're going to leave them here and you have the HDMI KVM extender connected and then we will be able to take full advantage of one computer in two different locations. And here for example if I leave this window open and if we go to the other location which is my office we can see exactly where I left off which was the Windows menu. Now looking at the screen at the same time on both locations one of the things that I would like to reinforce is that for those that will ask if two users can use here's what will happen. So anything that I do here will replicate there anything that I do there will replicate here. And now with a MacBook Pro with Mac OS and it has exactly the same functions that we can see on Windows. Now one of the things that I would like to add as well which might be interesting is that besides being able to clone the exact screen we can use it as an extended display. So if I go right over here and if I want to stop uh, mirroring one of the options that I can do is 
go and extend display. So this means that what will happen is that I will have one display right over here and the second display will have a different image. And this might be useful if I want to do some work here and another using another use on the other side, watch a movie for example, but having in mind that the user that is watching the movie will not be able to touch the keyboard and mouse or else it will be messing with the work that the other user is doing on the computer. So just an example that I did remember watching a movie here for example or someone working on the other side or vice versa. Now back with mirroring mode so that we can see that anything that we do right over here will do right over there. Exactly what happened with Windows will do the same with Mac OS or let's imagine that we have an Android device. If I want to connect an Android TV box I will be able to because it will share the image via the HDMI wireless and then if we have a remote control as long as it's connected via USB dongle which I have quite a few then we will be able to control that Android TV box which would not be my uh, personal favorite to be used on this KVM. This KVM is meant for computers and this is my favorite way of using it but we can use in other ways. So this is the experience as we can see right over here I'm controlling the MacBook Pro that it's on the uh, the side on my office. Inside the package we will find one transmitter, one receiver, two HDMI cables and two USB type A to USB type C cable. The unit that stays near the PC is the transmitter. It has an HDMI input where we can connect the HDMI cable coming from the computer to the HDMI wireless extender. There's also an HDMI output so that we can connect to an external display locally and there's a USB type C port for power. On the back it has the antenna the reset and pairing button. On the receiver which is the unit that we place near the TV there's an HDMI output where we will connect the HDMI cable that goes to the TV. There's also a USB type C port for power and then on the back it has two USB ports for connecting mouse, keyboard or a gamepad as well as the antenna. Now on my testings I was able to connect a computer right over here and then on the next room which has a few walls here as barriers and is at a distance of about 15 to 20 meters maximum. It worked flawlessly 10, 80 at 60 hertz which is the maximum of this device. But I also tested out at a longer distance with barriers. So I took it to the first floor further away on the other side of the house and although it's not 200 meters it was not able to capture the image and that's because the barriers that we have right over here here from one floor to the other and walls between and so on are too strong and it will block the signal. So if you are looking for this to extend the signal 200 meters you will need to have not too many barriers if any barriers. The best experience possible will be at line of sight. But if you are working with 30 meters, 40 meters or similar then with just a couple of barriers I would say that this does a great job if you want to control your computer mac os or windows at a distance hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did so don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is Roberto george and as always i'll see you on the next one